you know, gigs and stuff. And like, you'd be, I could get you like opening for people. And I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> Real quick before we start, look at this shirt I got. Comment down below if you know what, what this shirt is from. I mean, I feel like everyone's probably going to know, but do it anyways. Comment down below if you know what this is from. Today I'm gonna be talking about the time that I was contacted through Instagram by a radio host who works for a huge radio station in Los Angeles. Out of privacy sake, I'm not gonna say the the guy's name, I mean, by all means, you know, comment down below, guess who you think it is, guess the station, do you guys, it's one of the big ones, I mean, there's really two big top 40 radio stations, you know, so if you live in that area, you might know which, which one it might be. He contacted me, because, you know, it was kind of like a weird situation, but in the end, he ended up saying that he actually wanted to manage me as an artist, music artist, I, I play guitar and I sing. So I'm gonna, let me get into the story. So basically one day, I, you know, it was about um, like 2014, two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and it was, they still had that like explore option down, like next to, I don't know, your feed, the little one option over. And I would click on that, you know, scrolling through and there, I kept seeing like over and over again, this picture of you know, this guy taking pictures with like celebrities, like he was taking pictures with like, like uh, Wiz Khalifa and like, Rihanna and Adele and Beyonce and like a bunch of other people like a whole bunch of people and so I was like oh that's pretty cool and so I was looking I ended up clicking on his profile you know I was scrolling through and you know it's pretty cool and he was like on red carpet events and stuff and I was like that's kind of sick he didn't really have like that many followers I mean he did but like not that much so that it, it would have triggered that like he was someone like famous so you know I, I just followed him because that was like that's cool you know and like literally like three minutes passed and I got a DM and it was like hey like thanks for following me and I was like oh like no problem like I didn't think anything after that and then he sent another one being like oh like are you a model and I was like yes I is a model <laughs> no do I look like a model no I was like no I'm not a model and he was like oh okay cool are you a blogger and I was like no I mean <laughs> How, like why would I, I don't know I guess I guess it's like a valid thing to ask but I feel like I would look at an Instagram person's page and unless like in their bio it said like a blogger I wouldn't be like hey are you a blogger but you know he asked me and I was like no I'm not a blogger and he was like oh, okay cool cool like why'd you follow me and I was like oh you just like taking cool pictures of celebrities and stuff and you know you're at cool events and I'm like I'm a film major and I was in Hollywood you know that whole industry you know and I was like that's cool so I followed you and he's like oh cool cool and then like he started like being like oh like where do you live and I was like uh I didn't want to say exactly where it was, but I was like, oh, I'm East LA. And he was like, oh, cool. Like, are you in school? Are you working? And I'm like, uh, I'm in school. And it was like, I was getting kind of at this point, kind of like, why are you asking me these questions? And eventually I started kind of giving him a little bit of like short responses. You know, I wasn't replying like long. It was more like one word, two words, like, oh yeah, no, yes, no, you know, that type of stuff. And then he just kind of stopped responding. And I was like, oh, that was really weird. Later that night, my friends were like, hey, come over, let's, we're going to watch a... Uh, we were gonna watch some show, I don't remember what it was. And so I went over and we started watching the, the show. Show ended and my friend started watching YouTube videos and he was going through like interviews of like music celebrities and stuff. And we were watching a bunch of videos and all of a sudden it just like went to the, the video ended and there was like a bar where it shows like related or like upcoming next one, something like that. And there was a picture of like Fifth Harmony and there was a guy interviewing them and I was like, whoa, wait, that's, that's the friggin' dude that contacted me what the heck because i told him about the story earlier and we were like what the heck and we watched it and we were like dude what the heck and this guy like there was just like interview after interview that he was like interviewing all these people and i was like oh shoot like he's just not taking pictures with celebrities like he's like interviewing celebrities and like this guy works with celebrities and i ended up you know figuring out that he was like a host at like w the biggest radio station in in la and like california and I was like, oh, what the heck? And so I actually messaged the dude back and I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is so crazy. But like, my friends and I are watching YouTube videos and we, your video just came up next and you were interviewing Fifth Harmony. And he was like, oh yeah, I love Fifth Harmony, blah, blah, blah. And then my, we were like, what the, I was like, that's so crazy. Like, I thought you were just creeping on me before. So, I mean, maybe he was creeping on me, but I was like, dude, I thought you were just creeping on me. That's why I was like, kind of like, eh, about answering back. And he was like, oh, no worries, no worries. And then like, he was like, talking to me, talking to me. And we we're like, oh, it's cool. And then like, that was kind of it for the night. And then like, he would kind of message me every once in a while, like every couple days, like, usually at, like midnight booty call um he would message me and eventually he was just like oh yo like i'm going to universal studios horror night if anyone lives in la california and you know what that is i'm sure people in like florida know what it is too but if anyone's been to that if you haven't go it's really fun but he was like oh i'm going to universal horror nights like 
you want to go? Like, my friends aren't going. And I was like, oh, I don't know you. <laughs> I'm good. Like, it was actually funny because it was the same night that I was going with my friends. And I was like, oh, I'm going anyways. Maybe I'll run into you, whatever. And then, like, I got there and I met him. I was like, yo, I'm here. Like, where are you? And he's like, oh, I actually didn't go. I went to Knott's Scary Farm instead. And I was like, oh, okay, like, whatever. Then, like, it was like a couple days later and he messaged me and was like, yo, I'm watching scary movies. My friends come over. And I was like, I, like, I literally don't know who you are. I'm not going to your house. And I was just like, oh, I can't, like, blah, blah, blah. Then I was like, hey, I'm at my friend's house one day. And he, like, messages me and he's like, yo, I'm in your town and i was like what the f what the heck he was like yo i'm in your town like i just finished finished like a, a radio show thing like somewhere like whatever this area yo you want to get coffee and i was like uh no <laughs> i was like i'm hanging out with my friends like i can't he was like oh no worries like another time and i was like yeah for sure like another time and it was like weird and it was like one day you know he actually was going through and liking some of my uh, pictures he doesn't even follow me but he just like would check my profile every once in a while and he was liking my photos and he came across some of like the little video the music videos i posted on my instagram and he was liking them he messaged me and he's like yo dude you're really good like you should not do film and you should pursue a music career and i was like oh that's scary and that's hard and i do not think i'm that good and he was like no dude you're really good like you're really good and i was like ah i don't know I don't know, this is that scary. He's like, dude, I'll, I would manage you. Like, I'll manage you. Like, I can introduce you to a bunch of people. I know, I know, like, everybody in the music industry. I know, like, everybody music, like, you know, anything. I know people film really. Like, I know people I could hook you up. I can get you, like, shows. I can get you, like, you know, gigs and stuff. And, like, you'd be, I could get you, like, opening for people. And I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> like, I, I, I had never performed with anybody. I, like, for me, like, posting a video on Instagram was, like, a big step for me to, like, for what he wanted me to do. I was like, dude. <laughs> dead i was just like I, I was i think i was i was just stupid i honestly was like i straight up was like i don't think i'm that good like I, I don't i don't feel like i have that confidence i don't think i would be able to do that i think i would freak out i don't think i'd be able to do it and he's like dude you need to have confidence like you can't like you're good stop making excuses and he like kind of got mad at me a little bit like that i was like kind of saying no and i feel like you know blew my opportunity yes i said no in the end sorry guys you know sorry you're not listening to me on the radio <laughs> but you know i just didn't feel like i was ready like i, I was scary like that, that's a that's a big step that's like going from like nothing really like to barely doing anything to like playing in the room singing in the shower like to you know that that's a that's a, that's a big step and i think he kind of got mad that i didn't take him up on his offer to be completely honest because after he just like could stop talking to me all together like he just stopped messaging me and everything and it was weird even before before that he like added me on snapchat and stuff like that and he like deleted me after that i think he was just like you know the fact that somebody pre he presented the opportunity to me and i turned it down i think he was kind of like yo you suck like <laughs> like you were ungrateful and i was like i didn't ask i didn't ask for that like i didn't even know who you were like when i followed you like chill but you know i passed up my opportunity to be on the video <laughs> who knows if that would even happen yeah guys well i hope you like this story man it was it was an interesting story for me. It's fun. I, I tell that story to my friends and stuff, and it's it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, if you're curious, because I did talk about Instagram, and this whole story occurred through my Instagram. If you guys do want to check out my Instagram, I'm going to leave that down in my description below. Be sure to check that out. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching my video. You know, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down below. I'll be posting videos frequently, you know, a couple times a week, more if I can. So stay tuned for content. Comment down below if anything like this has happened to any of you guys. That would be awesome to know. You know, I was shocked. I still, you know, I'm, I'm getting better at it. Maybe if I shut my eyes and, you know, pretended like nobody was there, I would be able to do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, until next time. See ya. Yeah.